So we're on uh, Venice Boulevard and Ellesmere, and we're counting all the trailers that are around here. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven over there, eight, nine, ten, and one that's coming maybe to park right over here I just see coming down. Hi, excuse me. Hi. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm well. We're doing a story on trailers parked here. Okay. Do you mind if we talk to you or? Sure. I'm with the LA Times. LA Times, yeah. wow, that's big. <laughs> I wish I Is it? Known, I would have... <laughs> well, you know, we saw you kind of coming around the bend. I was like, I wonder if there's, I was like, there's another trailer. I wonder if he's going to park. Do you live in here? Uh, yeah. You do? Yes. Okay. And do, you, do most of the people who park here live in their trailers, you think? I, if you see any trailers on Venice, people are living in it. Where are you coming from? I moved here from Cincinnati. And my friend, he lived here his whole life. We all, we all worked together and then worked like full time. And then we were like, all right, this is a cheap option. Yeah. We're going to make like enough money to justify a place. It's not a bad situation, though. Save a good amount of money. and. It's really enjoyable in a lot of ways. Except there's three of you in here. Well, you really get used to it. I mean, yeah. in college, I had four people in one tiny little square of space, so it's not that much different. So I get to move around. <laughs> and you just park in different places all the time? Or is this kind of one of your main I spots? I mean, there's like a certain set of rules to avoid street parking yeah. and all of that. But we've lived with this thing in, from down to Long Beach all the way up to here. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. Well, I heard 30,000 people are actually homeless, and yeah. I guess 10,000 live in their vehicles. That makes sense. And even like normal people that I know that I've worked with, they live in their cars. Most of, at a certain point, most of the employees at my business were living out of their cars. Yeah. They're just. So it's like the working poor, and then they go home to their vehicles or RVs yeah. or mobile homes. It's not sad, but. I mean, it's like so a, you can make a certain amount and yeah. buy an, have an apartment and afford to eat and afford to do other things. Has really. anyone ever, like cops or anyone ever knocked on your trailer? Cops more than anyone else. Really? Saying, yeah, you, you can't you park move, here. You can't park here. It's all right. Do you get used to the swish of cars yeah, going by? Yeah. It was kind of like, like kind of like being on a boat, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, the vehicle's rocking back and forth, and then after a while, you you don't have sea sickness anymore. You just fall right asleep. I love that. You know, you look at the numbers in the census. Uh, people living in their vehicles have doubled in the last two years. When you walk the streets and you see and talk to people who are living in their vehicles, who are just trying to get by and cut costs. Start your day. Yeah. Where Where is your day start? Mm -hmm. Gym, work out, shower, and then hang out. Are you working tonight too? Yeah, mm. until about four. Do you work at a bar? Uh, yeah, I'm a bartender. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, this guy was living This is a place. little cu a cute one. Oh, here's your bus. Are you going to Venice? Yeah. So nice to meet you, Rory. Nice to meet you. Take care. You too. See you around. Okay. Line 33, Venice, welcome, regular.